Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're taking a look at Reloaded 7, which is a huge modification to Windows 10 that restores many features and looks from Windows 7. Someone in the comments recommended this to me, and I wasn't actually going to take a look at it until I came to their webpage. And the webpage is what really sold me that I wanted to take a look at this operating system, because look, this looks like the Windows 7 or the Windows homepage from 2009, and that really like hit nostalgia for me a little bit and that's why I wanted to take a look at this product but sitting here before I recorded this video I actually started to notice some mistakes and we're not going to hit on mistakes in the website because that's fine but like United Stains, Rio Lated 7, uh, let's see if you click on authors it says auth air a-u-t-h-e-r-s uh, but big credit to all these people I'm not you know hitting on spelling mistakes it's just some things that I noticed here um, but I'm very excited to see kind of what the operating system is like. Um, these links actually don't go anywhere. Download now does take you to the download page though, where you can download the Reloaded 7 ISO. And it's just a Google Drive download. So, that being said, let's get into the operating system. Alright, let's go ahead and boot up this machine and boot from CD. I'm actually really excited because we've taken a look at these before, but they haven't exactly, I mean some of them have been pretty cool. But this one, considering they went all out just for the web page, I'm actually kind of excited for this one because the web page alone was just a hint of nostalgia from 2009 or the Windows 7 era. And look at that. This does look like the Windows 7 setup with the arrow kind of glass spin wheel setup is starting with the classic. I really like this background. I don't know why. I kind of like this arrow theme. I really wish Microsoft would have stuck with that. But wow, look at this. I mean, this, just so everyone is aware, this is the Windows 7 install, or the Windows 10 installer, rather. We're insta we're really installing Windows 10, but, I mean, they went all out here. I mean, this is a great experience. All right, and here we are. So it's very obvious this is a custom window. I'm actually very curious how they were able to accomplish this. But let's go ahead and make a username, and we'll just name this Win. Next, set up a password. I feel like this is probably, like, Visual Basic, or, vis like, not Visual Basic. Yeah, Visual Basic. I, I just very much recognize these forms. And I wonder if I can, like, if I send Control-Alt-Delete. Oh, wow, it's even disabled. Okay, I don't know. It's just the way these buttons look, it's crazy. Like, it just looks like some, like, Visual Basic. It just isn't a bad thing. Um, I could be very wrong, though. I'm going to go Windows 7 Professional, uh, even though that probably doesn't matter. Let's go Blue, Classic Windows 7 and classic next that time looks fine probably and now I mean this is crazy how they were able to replicate this so so much and I would just remember we're not looking at Windows 7 we're this this is Windows 10 I mean th <laughs> there we go it's very obvious this is Windows 10 just based on that but you can also see that Windows is currently installing or finalizing our settings so you know two different worlds here a little windows 10 notification and windows 7 professional and here we are i went ahead and installed vmware tools already uh, just so we can get that extra little you know larger resolution but that's actually come back to bite me because now i realize just how small things are on the 1440p display so i'm going to go ahead and change the resolution down to 18 1080p and then I'm just going to stretch it so that way you guys have a better view. Or it did not like that. Okay, give me one moment. I'm going to try and figure this out. So, so first glance, wow, this looks a lot like Windows 7. Um, let's look at what's on the desktop. We'll get to the readme in a little bit. So this looks like um, some extra files. We can change error basic, change the color, um, even set the theme. And look, we can change the color just like that. Um, I'm not going to, though. Set the theme all kinds of fun stuff windows update enable it or disable it uh, different user icons and control panel registry I'm not gonna go ahead and run that I'm gonna ignore that for now let's get to the readme let's see what's new accuracy here's here's a list of issues I'm not gonna read all of this because I don't need to but here's the contact of the developers uh, and so on and so forth the windows marketplace uh, you can just go ahead and download you know, various software, which is actually pretty cool because if I wanted Office 2010, I just click it and it, it comes down. I want VMware, bam. I want Adobe, bam. 
Uh, I want Rufus, GIMP, Shotcut, Internet Download Manager, Process Hacker, Super Minium, uh, 7-Zip, or any burn. I just click them. I think Office 2010 is the coolest one, though, because you can just click it and just kind of download. Uh, but I don't actually want Office. Looking at the taskbar, we can have our Show Desktop button. We have our Calendar, which is beautiful. We have our Windows 7 volume, our Network, as well as uh, our little Settings pane here. Oh, wow, I just have to say, I mean, like, I'm genuinely impressed with this. Down here we have the Windows Media Player, which, you know, appears to be typical Windows. Yeah, this is, this is actually crazy. We have the File Explorer, as we can see, which looks very much like Windows 7 File Explorer. I mean, they really brought back the old style context bar at the top, the, the icons themselves. I mean, this, this is actually insane. And then the Start Menu. In the start menu, we have command prompt, which does actually say version 6.1.7601. I mean, they went as far as to change that. That is dedication. WordPad, again, typical WordPad. Let's see. Getting started, registry editor, PowerShell, marketplace, and in the programs, we have default programs, desktop gadget gallery. You know we have to throw some stuff on the desktop. I mean, we can't not do a review and not put stuff over here. And let's put that up there. Now we have gadgets, pretty cool stuff. Uh, where were we? Internet Explorer, I actually think that this needs to be on the taskbar. Only because it's, it was on the taskbar in Windows 7. I actually don't remember where it was. I feel like it was there. I think that was the default orientation. I don't know for sure though. I'm probably wrong. It might, I'm gonna leave it like that. Anyways, getting off topic there for a second. We have DVD Maker, Fax and Scan, Media Player, Media Center, Media Player, Windows Update, is this? Oh my, there is no way that this is the real Windows update. I just refuse to believe it. Like, okay, let's enable Windows update or not. But there is no way that's like, that is the Metro Windows update. Wow. And then we have, let's see, XPS viewer, all kinds of fun accessories. Moving down, accessibility games it comes with all our classic games anyone who's been on this channel long enough knows that purple place one of my favorite games when i was younger on windows vista actually uh scrolling down we have maintenance i mean even all of this stuff is here the old remote assistance um let's see what sound restore and of course windows administrative tools with all kinds of fun stuff uh, i don't think yeah mmc didn't actually change from windows 7 to windows 10 but hey now let's do the one thing I always forget and everyone gets mad at me. Let's look at the task manager. Again, old task manager. This VM has 8 gigs of RAM and I think 1 or 2 cores. Uh, and we're using 1.58 gigs of RAM and the CPU is idling at 0 to 2%. So honestly, this is this is pretty good. I mean, this is typical. Uh, 121 processes. Uh, I will scroll through here. I think I finally cooked is the description of this one. Um, if I didn't know this was a custom build, I would think that's a virus, but I know that that's, uh, I think it's this, if I do that. I forgot about that feature in Windows 7. That's actually really cool. Uh, let's see what else we can find in here. Uh, you know, So there's all these services, processes, and things in here if you really want to pause and scroll through and see what we're actually running here. I really am curious to know what version of Windows like this actually is. Like Obviously it's Windows 10, but what version of Windows 10 is this I mean honestly I would I'm pretty tricked that this isn't Windows 10 but considering that a lot of these are from well that's from 2009 but 2019 I don't think this project has been going since 2019 so I'm gonna probably guess that this is probably like a 19 oh god I don't even remember what they were in 2019 1903 maybe something like that which makes sense because I know on newer versions of Windows 10 it's way harder to get this level of you know detail with that being said thank you for watching this video if you liked it make sure to subscribe for new here as they do all kinds of different technology videos including device restorations with that being said I'll see you all in the next one